commands in Linux are case sensitive. So lowercase ls is not the same as capital L capital S. This really isn't much of an issue because most commands in Linux are all lowercase. Here are the commands we're going to cover today. ls lists directory contents. It can also display detailed information about files and directories. cd is the change directory command. It does what it says. It changes the current working directory. When you log into a Linux system, you're automatically placed into your home directory. You can use the cd command to navigate around the file system. The pwd command displays the present working directory, or your current directory. cat concatenates files. Really what cat does is it displays the contents of files. Echo displays arguments to the screen. It may not be immediately obvious how this is helpful, but in a minute when I show you some examples, it will become clear. Linux systems come with built-in documentation. You can use man to display the documentation for a given command on a Linux system. You may hear people refer to man pages. This is the documentation that you can view with the man command. To exit or log out of your shell, use the exit command. Finally, clear clears the screen. Let's see some of these commands in action. First, let's look at ls. If you run ls without any arguments, it lists the files in the present working directory. In this example, we see several items in this directory. Desktop, downloads, notes, etc. In this example, ls output is color-coded. This may not always be the case, but it is a common thing to see on Linux distributions. We can run ls with a dash l option, which displays a long listing format. Here we get more information about the files and directories that are displayed. In a later lesson, we'll cover what all this information means. As you recall, earlier I said Linux commands are case sensitive. So let's see what happens if we type in capital LS. We get an error saying that the command is not found. Let's try capital L lowercase s, lowercase l capital S. Same thing. So LS works, lowercase, capital does not. Let's use the cd command to change the directory. Directories and files are also case sensitive, so capital TPS lowercase reports is not the same as all lowercase TPS reports. We can use ls to see what's in this directory, and we can use ls-l to display a long listing, more detailed information about these files. cat will display the contents of a file. This file only has one line in it. Echo is used to display the contents of variables, and we'll be talking about environmental variables later on. Use the man command to learn more information about how to use a particular command. Type the word man, space, and the command you want to know more about. In order to display the next page of information, simply hit the space bar. When you're done looking at the man page, type Q to quit man. Here's the man page for ls. You'll see how ls has a lot of options. Here's one that we've been using in this lesson, dash l. Use a long listing format. So as you can see, there's a lot of information in the man pages. We'll talk more about the man command in the next lesson. The clear command clears the screen. If you execute cd without any arguments, it takes you back to your home directory. pwd will display your current or present working directory. In order to exit your session, type the word exit. Today the commands we've talked about are ls, which displays the contents of a directory, cd, which changes the current directory, pwd, which displays what directory you're currently in, cat, that displays the contents of files, echo, displays arguments, man displays documentation about commands, exit, exits your shell, and clear, clears your screen. If you found this video helpful, then I know you're going to learn so much more in my Learn Linux in 5 Days course available at linuxtrainingacademy.com. In it, you'll learn exactly what you need to know about the Linux operating system in order to become a proficient and professional user in a very short period of time. In the course, you'll start at the very beginning by choosing a Linux distribution and installing it. From there, you'll learn the most important Linux concepts and commands. Plus, you'll be guided step by step through several practical and real world examples. By the way, this course also comes with a 30 day money back guarantee, which means you have everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose by trying it out. 
So if you can spare just a few minutes a day and want to learn the ins and outs of the Linux operating system, join me and the other students in this course today. I look forward to seeing you in the course.